So excited for you all to be here with me. I truly appreciate all of you, my current subscribers, my new viewers. You understand at this moment that you yourself alone are worthy and love yourself mercilessly and don't look back. We're getting on here to uh, do the reading for Leo. It's time for the Leo reading. I'm very excited to see where things are headed for you all um, at this time during your life cycle. Um, why don't y'all take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when you all do. Um, also do share if you know someone who needs to hear this message. Also hit that notification bell, y'all. And, um, select all so that you receive all of the broadcasting that I do load here on a weekly and daily basis for my soul sojourners. Much love and abundance I'm sending your way. Manifestation power, Leo. Um, the ability to persevere. The ability to... Maintain your integrity, the ability to stand in your power. I just saw the strength card show up in this reading. May the divine heal your heart in a place that cannot be broken ever again by the devil. My God, who am I speaking to? Yeah, mass at the bottom of the deck. The devil. Yeah, I saw that. And it may be some of you uh, may be bordering um, a portal between light and darkness. Yeah. And see, the devil is trying to cloud your vision here and try to steer you away from the light. Trying to cover your lenses here, your spiritual lenses. Because we're talking deep here um, to the light that resides within you. Trying to keep you trapped here. Look at this pain. Look at that. The root. See? The root cause of your pain here is not even your truth. I just heard from the spirits. It's not your truth. See? And this is where the enemy would like to keep you. Um, but we come against those spirits in the name of all that is divine. I don't know who that message was for, but someone needed to hear it. Um, let's begin your reading. We're going to start here, um, Leo, with the, taking a deep dive into your soul. Uh, Spirit, connect me to the soul of Leo at this time, please. Um, mm, first card we have here is Mindful, which showed up in the reverse. Um, connect me to the soul of Leo at this time, please, which I feel I'm already connected here. I can just feel it. Um... I, we invoke all angels of light, um, heavenly host, divine beings, on the behalf of Leo at this time. I don't know why I feel this hesitation in your energy. Um, I never, um, there's never a run in when I talk. And I feel, I take that from spirit that there's a hesitancy in your energy, Leo. Um, but once again, we come against those demonic forces that are continuously cavorting in your airway, in your energy waves. I can feel it. Okay? And they're angry spirits. Angry. Because you're on the precipice of a renewal, a rebirth, a spiritual rebirth. Look at that beautiful card. This is why the devil is after you, after your fate. Yeah, trying to reverse your fate. Which, what is rightfully yours. Okay? This is literally the devil himself trying to stop you from getting to where you're supposed to be going, which is a self-rebirth. Okay? Um, once again, uh, we dismantle Satan out of the airways at this time. Reconnect me to the soul. See, that's what I'm saying. The devil continues to trying to disconnect me from you in the spirit. But we come against you, Satan, at this time. Let, let I remind you again that if you're tuning in here, cross watcher or whoever demon, I see you demon tapping into the spirit realm trying to alter the word of the divine. But let me tell you something, Satan, back, back. Because do you not know when you tuned in to this channel, you tuned into an authority of God. You tuned into a dimension that is unreachable. By you, Satan. We cast you back to hell at this time. I 
invoke all angels of the light, divine beings, heavenly hosts, employers of divine works on the behalf of Leo at this time that it is so. I also eradicate all evil entities, all evil hosts out of the energy of this air raid. I, I transmute you, devil, back to the hill where you came from. I transmute you back where you came from, devil. Oh, my God, I feel the spirit of the divine in this place right now. Who am I speaking to? I cast you back into the swine. And the death, the spiritual death that you're trying to impute into Leo, let it be cast back into your inconceivable womb at this, at this very time, devil. Let your death that you're trying to cast off into Leo's life, you're trying to stop them from getting to their destiny. But we come against you, the heavenly host. Oh my God, I call on the prayers of the wise men. Let them enter into this reading as I sit here through my body that the wise men will show up and surround me. Oh my God, on the behalf of Leo at this time to come against the debt of your promise. Look at this wall. My God, as soon as I said it, the obstacles in your life dismantling. Obstacles in the reverse. Let every obstacle you face dismantle. My goodness, I feel something here, Leo. I feel something. Some of you are in the fight of your life. What is that I just saw? You know something, Leo? Some of you feel like that there's devils all around you. And I can already see it because your first card, Leo, is mindful, group think. This card, to me, look at this. All these hidden devils. This card is that five of one energy to me. And if you can see the depictions in this card, there's people all over here that are devils that are affecting your internal emotions. Whoever these people are, you need to let them go. That's what Spirit is saying. There is a party of people, moon mindful, that are filling your mind. This is what you're letting go of, Leo. Filling your mind with this, with this furthering, trying to stop you from overcoming obstacles. There are people in your life. There may be family members, friends. I'm getting that are that are talking in your ear, trying to stop you from getting to the light. Okay? They want to see you in this dark cloud. Okay? And for a lot of you, this is family. Talk to me further about this situation for Leo Spirit. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Willow of the Wisp treasures hidden in the shadows. You also have beloved radical acceptance showing up in the reverse. You also have the farther gates. Behold, step forward. Look at this is God calling you home. Who am I speaking to? My God, this is powerful today. Don't do this, Leo. Please don't do this. Who am I speaking to? Well, you've been in the fight of your life, Leo. Uh, you've been in the fight of your life, fighting to get out of this darkness. I don't know who this message is for, but it's powerful. This is powerful energy, my God. You don't understand the power inside of you, Leo. You don't understand that there are treasury, uh, treasures. I just heard a treasury box. There are treasures hidden in your spiritual womb that if you would only let this darkness go, this dark cloud, this non-belief in self, this, 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 see, what you need is radical acceptance of yourself. That's what you need. And see these, and you know where this darkness came from? The legacy of your family. The legacy of your family never believing in you, never having hope for you, telling you that you weren't going to be anything. They put you in this darkness. They did it. And these people are evil. They're hosts that are working uh, on the behalf of Satan, keeping you in this cloud, in this negative mindset. And they're still picking at you, calling you, uh, uh, trying to get in your energy. 
to keep you in a state of non-belief, to keep you in a state of hopelessness, to keep you not believing in yourself, to keep your flame. Leo, you are the king of wands. Let me tell you something about you. The king and queen of wands. You are powerful. You have the, the authority to make moves. You are an overcomer. You are an overachiever. How dare Satan disrespect your authority in the spirit realm? You are a high-level spirit that belongs in heaven, and Satan is trying to call you to, to hell. Let me tell you something. And, I, and, and, and let me tell you something. This is not about religion. This is what is happening in your life. Stopping you and the devil are these people. Your family. Friends, people, in, people that you thought were in your corner that are trying to stop you. They're, they're dimming your flame. They're putting your fire out, Leo. My God. But behold, look at you. Powerful. You saw the light and you didn't run from it this time, Leo. You saw the light. Look at this. We have God. And look at this. You're resourceful. Look at this. You're very resourceful, Leo. You're very strong. You're very capable. This is what the divine is showing you. You're very smart. Look at this. You put on your bull horns. Some of you may have Taurus in your sign. But I see the numbers. Four. See, these people were coming in between your infinity power, your manifestation power. They made you feel like zero. They still make you feel like zero. But see, what you're getting rid of are these people, these no good family members, these no good people that were the enforcers of your non-belief in self. We have the number six. The number six is representative of you having to, have a, having to really go into the mind space and think about the real value that lies inside of you. See? And you have to... See, these people were trying to... You know why that's here? Because these people were trying to alter your mind. They were playing placation games with you. And this is some real sinister evil energy I'm feeling. You know, people that are very good at playing mind games. And they've been doing this. Like I said, if this is your family... They've been doing this to you since childhood, Leo. Manipulating your mind to believe their narrative. It's not, it, they don't want you to have your own narrative. They want you to succumb to the narrative that you're nothing. You're no one. You'll never be anything. They want to dim and contrit not only take your life from you, but they don't even want a flame inside of you. Not an ember left. They want you hopeless and in despair. But the number six here is telling me that you will. You're moving beyond this. This thought system. You're looking at a new beginning. Possibilities. Hope. See? And this is where they don't want you in. That number two energy. The two in reverse. Come on, Leo. The spirit never lies. They're, they're directly coming up against. Look at that. Two against two. The chariot energy. I just saw in the spirit. Cancer, cancer energy, emotions. See, they're emotional manipulator. This is how they get in through your emotions. They know at, at times your emotions are kind of all over the place. And this is how they get you. But even in that, they started that. Your insurity in your emotions and controlling your emotions. They know how to get in. That's why 5-5 five five is here. Major change. But it, and what 5-5 five five is telling me is even though they tried to slay you, even though they tried to stop you from changing, you're still changing. You're still changing because that five was the, that first five was them trying to stop you here. But you, you, you move past that. You're looking to the light. You're looking to the new, to the hope, the opportunity of a better life for you. Yes, you are. God, you had a revelation. God, you have unmarked trail at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at they snake ass. You can see them courage. See, you got the courage. Whereas before you didn't have the courage to take control over your narrative, you do now. Because these people, see what it was, Leo. They're, they're very good. These family members. It's 
It's like they created a maze of lies here. Lies and manipulation against them. Yeah, we have the number seven against the number five. Their lies didn't work this time. Yeah, their lies and deception didn't work. It didn't stop you this time. Some of you are breaking a generational curse. Because these people are very good. Your family here, they're very good. Or like I say, family, friends, toxic people that are in your energy. They're very good at layering lies. Layering and manipulating the truth. Very good at covering their tracks. This is the card I consider the track card. You know, but it didn't work this time. It didn't work. It did not work this time. Not at all. <laughs> Let's move this over so I can get... Um, Spirit, connect me to the souls that are deeply connected and affected by Leo at this time. Give me direct messages. Be very specific at this time, Spirit. You may also have a spiritual guide. You may have someone in your life that is helping charter you into this spiritual awakening. Yeah, the farther gate. See, I do see for some of you, there was an inability due to this inescapable darkness. You were unable to see the light. And you have a spiritual guide here with you in the, in the, the 3D. Make this from your... Okay. Okay, we have... I hope our paths cross, will cross again in the future. I wish you would knock on my door. Yeah, you got somebody longing for you, Leo. Longing for you. Longing for that fire to, to light up inside you. They know there is no one else thinking about you all day. What did I say, Leo? A lot of fire and passion and desire here. You're so beautiful inside and out. This is what you're, this is your soulmate here. See, at the bottom of the deck, all I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. Yeah, your soulmate is deeply in love with you. That your soulmate could actually be your spirit guide here, Leo. This could be your twin flame or past life connection. A lot of love and a lot of care and nurturing energy. I mean, that's what's so beautiful. This could be your divine counterpart, Leo. What's so beautiful is how they see you. This Your soulmate, they see you the way no one else would see you. Thank God this is powerful. They see you the way everybody else refused to see you. Previous relationships, your family, your, your friends. No one else saw this fire blazing inside of you. No one else saw your true beauty. The beauty inside of you. Saying and out. Though you're the full, complete package to your soulmate. Beautiful energy. Let's connect me to the subconscious view. Subconscious view, connect me to the subconscious view of the soulmate of Leo. Conflict in the reverse, heart fog, perspective, clear head space. There could have been some clashing differences between you two, but I see you all coming out of that energy. Coming out of this energy, there were a lot of mixed signals here, blocked. And you know what really the mixed signals were here? There were blocked emotions, you know? And this could have been, um, your person could have been feeling like you were giving them blocked emotions or, 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 or mixed signals. And they began to feel like, you know, maybe you'd be better off without them, you know? Um, but they never lost hope, you know? They realized that the both of you needed a clear headspace. That's what this person is realizing. You know, it's time out for the clashing of the differences. It's time to come together 
Let's block out the negative energy. Because, like, you know what it is, person? Your person knows. Look at their heart. The Spirit just showed me that. Look at this heart. You're the center of this person's heart. See, no matter what happens, whatever, however dark it may get or however dark it may feel for you, this person they has a flame in their heart and it's never dying for you. I see. And also, your person knows your story. Like I said, your person, I truly, your soulmate is your spiritual guide. They may be very spiritual. Um, but I really feel they want to grow. You know, this connection. Look at all that, the sun. That sun, that's your energy in here. They want to grow with you. The sun card is Leo energy. Um, and that's what it is. That's why conflict is in the reverse. This person, their life, they feel their life is better with you in it, Leo. Better with you in it. You know? Both of you could have been waiting on a cycle to end here. You know? Let me see. Hmm. See, we have open heart here, <clears throat> finality, divine feminine, commitment, emotional storm, nourish, and pride. I really feel like this is your energy, Leo. It doesn't have to be. Um, some of you are dealing with a divine feminine here. You could be a divine masculine. But there was an issue here of the receptivity of the heart chakra. Um, someone had an inability to open their heart. And this could have been your energy, Leo. I'm really just from your reading. I really feel like there was an inability or a fear of you opening your heart in this connection with your soulmate. And by you doing that, there's this fear, you know, that maybe time ran, ran out, you know, for you to open your heart. Maybe things, there's been, you, you know, gave too many mixed signals. And that's because you've been in this dark, darkness, you know, and you may, you may be sitting in fear that due to you not opening your heart, and not revealing your true emotions and your true desires and your true love. I'm getting that King of Cups energy very heavily. I just saw the King of Cups. You know, by you not doing that for so long, you fear that your divine feminine is slipping away from you. That they're thinking about closing this commitment out with you. This could be a marriage. And this is sending you into an emotional storm here because you're regretting not... Um, Investing and nourishing this commitment. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Oh, yeah. See, it's, but it's moving here beautifully. I knew this was going to come out. See, and you're, you're worried about it because your pride, you know, your ego got in the way. This is definitely your energy, um, Leo. But, like I say, what I really believe is these naysayers. People in your energy that orchestrated all of this in your energy. But what I see is um, your person could be feeling abandoned by you right now, Leo. Sitting in a lot of pain. Um, but I do see you all coming out of this heartbreak. There could have been some heartbreak in the betwer in, um, in the past year um, or recently that you all are needing a heal for. Yeah, pain, twin flame. Yeah, this is definitely what I say, past life. Uh, committal. Okay, that's what's going on with your person. They feel like you've abandoned them and that you wear several masks, you know. To hide your pain. Your twin flame knows this. This is the actually which is what is so powerful about you all's connection is 
not only are you twin flames, but you're actually twin flames from a past life. I mean, you don't see that often. The, the, the depth of your connection with your soulmate absolutely cannot be broken. And you had someone else step in the picture here with lusting, um, non-committal energy, sexual energy. Your person could be thinking that you, you're distracted here by someone else or distracted by lust. And that's what's coming in between the foundation of this connection. But I see a passionate return of the twin flame connection. Still, a passionate return. See, you're tired of residing, like I said, in that dark energy, Leo. And both of you have had a breaking point, you know. I really feel this is your breaking point. I don't think it's your person. Because I really feel this very loving, nurturing energy. You know, um, I'm going to confirm. Why is this here? You know, but it's only you. This person, your person, they live for only you. And you, like I said, there you are thinking that this person's giving up on you. But they haven't. And you could be sitting in a lot of sorrow uh, right now, Leo. If you are, this is the reading you need to be reading. Because this is irrational fear you're having, Leo. This is irrational fear. And keep in mind, these naysayers are creating this, this bullshit in your energy. This irrational fear. You know? Yeah, it's only you for them. Yeah. I feel like you're viewing your person right now is, you know, you're seeing something that you don't, that you haven't noticed, you know, by you sitting in the sorrow and, you know, you've had a realization that, you know, your, your soulmate, it causes your soulmate a lot of stress, you know, um, you know, and like I said, there could have been you know, um, in the past here, you know, de deception. Or lies. But I really feel like the real culprits in this, like I keep saying, you could have been, you know, needing somebody to talk to, Leo. I'm getting that energy. You may have needed somebody to talk to or vent to when you and your soulmate got into it. <laughs> because this is a twin flame connection. So twin flames have a, have a lot of lessons to learn from each other. So there definitely could be times where there's, you know, cycles, right? Where maybe you two aren't getting along the best. Maybe um, it starts to feel like all options are exhausted. Or, you know, you can't get on the same page and things like that. So what you were doing, what this initially started with, was you trying to vent, you know, and trying to have somebody to talk to, but this backfired on you, Leo. It backfired majorly. Because all they did was started a bunch of lies here. Um, You could have even confided in them about, you know, your you could have escaped, you know. Some of you, I do feel, Leo, that you started to feel abandoned here, you know, and, and tired of having to wear a mask, you know. Um, to hide the pain. And please understand what I'm saying. This mask I'm referring to is the pain, you know, your deep pain, deep wounds, unhealed wounds. You know, and sex could have been your way in the past of, you know, getting away from even having to confront those issues. You know, and it was a major distraction for you, you know. Because um, th this is what your person's feelings are right here. As far as the wedge that was drawn here between the two of you are possible issues in the connection. Um, 
Let's get situational messages. What's going on with Leo spirits? with this situation what, 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 what's going on what's what on here spirits there could have been commitment issues in the past yeah see here we go you got sister showing up family members getting in your business you may be receiving communication from somebody in your family. Shit, I wouldn't answer Leo if I was you. Because <laughs> they're trying to get you to see that there are issues in your commitment. There, that's where that seven of swords energy. I knew it before I ever saw it. There's that, where's that seven at that I saw? I saw it earlier. There it is. Revelation. See, that's the revelation you're coming to right there. See? If these people are wolf and sheep, they're, they're evil, okay? And they try to make you see um, that possibly, you know, you could do better. Especially with this card being on the color purple. Like you could do better, you know, or trying to get you to leave your commitment, your marriage. You know, make possibly even lying on your spouse, lying on your person without proof, you know. I'm getting the energy. They really don't even know your person that well, possibly. You know, but they still try to draw a wedge in this connection. And this text message information with this exclamation mark is like urgency. It's like they have an urgency to fuck up your life. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I see nothing here. Um, and your person's energy or this person is not is doing anything to you. I don't see it. What I do see in your person's energy is waiting on the new beginning. With them sitting here, your twin flame sitting in this return energy, they want to reverse what's broken, okay, with you. Leo, they want to heal what's broken with you. They're waiting on that Ace of Pentacles, on that Ace of Wands, on that Ace of Swords. You know, they're waiting on you. That's what I see. You're thinking, that's what's so interesting about your, your reading. We have spiritual pain. See, um, Leo, like I said, <laughs> the spirit never lies. Your family you're talking to, all they're doing is trying to stagnate your growth, trying to stop you from healing from this spiritual pain that you're in. They don't want to see you get the green light. They don't want to see you get to the horned cactus. They, they know you're resourceful. They know you're talented. They know all this. They don't want to see that. Let me take a sip of water, Leo. <clears throat> My voice started to get dry. Um, but these people you're talking to, you need to stop talking to these people, Leo. You need to stop sharing your business with your family or friends or whoever you think is um, helping you or listening to you. All they're doing is playing a manipulation and placation game. You may be dealing with a family of narcissists. Because they're directly coming against you not healing. This is what is so sinister about your reading today. They're directly coming against. And they know that your commitment. They know your partner is your divine counterpart. See, that's why they're trying to drive a wedge here. Trying to get you to see, oh, your person, they don't love you. They're not on your side. You know. And you know something with that lusting cord? When these people, when you started talking to these people, Leo, they could have tried to get you to believe your person was trying to get with somebody else or like they were trying, your person um, was trying to leave you or they were no good for you. Um, and you actually started to believe that, you know. Um, and with that non-committal energy, that lusting card, you could have took a foolish risk here, Leo. And it was definitely foolish. You know, um, we, we, we see here, I slept with them to get back at you. See? 
And all this did was send you into um, heartbreak, your own heartbreak, sitting in guilt here, sitting in remorse. Because you know that your person is truthful. You know that your person is all for you. Your person is your spiritual guide to get you out of the spiritual pain. Your sinister family, whoever you're talking to, I don't care who it is. They know this. They know that you're going green here. <laughs> you're moving from darkness to light. And they don't want to see you do it. Okay? They don't want to see you do it. What else we have for Leo, please? They would rather see you in this spiritual pain for the rest of your life than to see you, than to see your comeuppance, Leo. <laughs> now, that's just what it is. And they're jealous of you, okay? Your family, your friends, these people, they're jealous of you. And they, they hate your shine. I can see it all over the reading. <laughs> and they want you to leave they don't want you to open your heart to your soulmate. See, I see her. They're the ones. See, this is this is the whole thing, right? It's all over this reading. No matter when you, no, no matter the way you read this, Leo, it's all the same. Let me move this deck of cards so I can show y'all. No matter how you see it, it's all leading back to the same story. See the conflict. See, you're letting go. You're wanting to let go of this bullshit, you know. And they're 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 they're, they're, they're creating. Getting into your energy, getting into your heart chakra, because they know you love them. Ooh, that's what it is. Uh, this is what I love about the spirit. They know you love them. See, Leo, you love your family a lot. And they play on your heart. See? And they're the ones that turn your heart dark. Look at that. They don't want your heart to be healed. My God, this is a powerful reading. They don't want your heart to be healed. I can't get this card. Look at that. You see that? They don't want me to pick this card up because they don't want your heart healed. You see how this heart is a black drawing? This is where they want your heart empty. It's also empty. They don't want you to get to the light for your heart to be broken open, which is open heart here. They want, they want you to take on their perspective, not the perspective of hope, not the perspective of the light being seen, not the perspective of your revelation. They don't want to see that. They want your heart closed and empty. And they want this to end with your divine counterpart. They want it to end. They want your marriage over so that you can go right back into this emotional storm. That's what they want. <laughs> That's exactly what they want. They know just how to work you, Leo. They know just how to maneuver you. Let it go, Leo. Accept your happiness. Accept your divine love. Accept your new tomorrow. It's already there. That's the whole... You know something, Leo? This is a huge message. Everything you're looking for, you already have. And the devil is trying to distort your mind, your spirit. These people in your energy are trying to get you to see you don't have anything. And everything you've always been wanting, you have. You've got your divine past life, twin flame connection you prayed for. You know, you've got everything you need. And a lot of you are on the way to a new prosperous beginning, resourcefulness, even a new job possibly, something that you're good, very good at. See, with the bullhorns there, you're at work. <laughs> These bullhorns are, are Taurus energy. You could be connected to a Taurus, Leo. And your person... They sacrifice a lot for you. You know, they're always there with that number nine energy spirit. Just show me that. Yeah, and your people you're talking to, your family, they send in this low vibrational ass energy. <laughs> uh huh. What did I say? Gross stagnation at the bottom of the dang on damn deck. It's ridiculous. It always comes. Wow. Childhood wounds. There it is, Leo. <laughs> That's where they want to keep you. When they first wounded you, when they first broke your soul, when they first broke your spirit, when they first placed that dark cloud over your head back in your childhood, that's where they want to keep you. In the pain of your childhood, that's where they want to keep you. And check your passwords too, Leo. 
They might have, don't sit your phone down around these mofos. They probably got in there trying to find out your business. Watch, watch your, your phone and all that around your family. Because this family you're dealing with, this is sinister. I have, this is horrible. And let me tell you something. If you walk out of the room, they'll try to look at, oh, they'll watch you. Not when you walk out of the room. They'll watch you when you get, when you look at your phone. And they'll look, watch you type in your passcode. And then by the time you went and walk somewhere, they'll be the guy in your damn phone. So they can find out what's going on in your life. So they can know how to manipulate you. By the emotional torment and trauma of your childhood. Mental, physical, whatever abuse it was, may the divine strike them down for doing this to your life at this time. Yeah, wanting to be the judge and jury. Oh my God, y'all. I swear, the spirit don't lie. They think, your family thinks that they're your judge and jury, Leo. They think that they're your judge and jury, okay? And that you must succumb to their will and live the life that they believe you should live. They, you should walk around in the image that they believe you should portray. Okay? You should be do do what they want you to do. Say what they want you to say. Be with who they want you to be with. And, and if you do that, all it's going to lead you to lead you to is this emotional storm and and oh and into darkness. <laughs> That's where it's leading. These people are not your judge and jury, Leo. What the fuck? They are not your judge and damn jury. And you know what? They're becoming faded pictures. They're going to become fading pictures of the fucking past. Because like I said, you're taking a bold step forward. Not this time, Leo, you said. Not this time. And in a minute, there'll be a fading picture of the past. Whew. And then, I just saw that too. They blame you for the affliction of the pain they caused you in your childhood. I just saw that. That's so many cool. One more for Leo. And you know something else is going to fade, Leo? And this is something you thought you would never be able to do. But the pain of the past is definitely fading. It showed up right underneath childhood wound. All of this is fading. You may have had... This is what's beautiful about your reading. All of this is fading. And so the, uh, all of this is going on the back burner. You may have had commitment issues in the past caused by the trauma of your pain of your past. Those commitment issues are dwindling away. They will become a fading picture. This communication with these people... That five of wands energy that you know want to keep a dark cloud over your soul, they're going to be faded pictures. This low vibrational energy that you've been in as a result of the trauma and the pain that you faced throughout your life, that is going to be soon a faded picture. This childhood wounds, the trauma of the pain of your childhood, that is also going to become a fading picture. That's what spirit has to say. And guess what? We have this Will not work out. <laughs> what am I saying, Leo? This shit will not work on you anymore. This will not work out. You are done letting these people infiltrate your lives. You are tired of the spiritual pain. Okay? You're done letting your growth be stagnated. You're done letting somebody be your judge and jury. Okay? The shit won't fucking work no more. And it needs to stop. Cross watcher, if you're getting on here with your low life ass. While you're sitting on here trying to destroy Leo's life, we come against you in the name of all that is divine. And may the demons that reside inside of you be cast back to hell and back into the swine where they belong. Yeah, they want to disable you. That's what they wanted to do, Leo. They wanted to disable you. Disable your soul and make you sick. Incapable of repair. Wanted to leave you lost in the wilderness, Leo. Who am I talking to? Look at this sick shit. It's just too much. It's too much, Leo. What are these people's plan here? What was these people's ultimate intention? Because I see now, in the subjective view, this is your no-good-ass fucking family, too. I see it in here. You're no-good, whoever you're talking to. Steadily 
trying to create tower moments in your life. Disaster. <laughs> trying to break your foundation down. They're trying to break your marriage down. Trying to break your relationship down. Your new job down. Your career down. Your light of hope down. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, what did I say? Look at this ace of pentacles in the reverse. They don't want to see you have a new opportunity. They want to see you in loss. Ace of cups in the reverse. They want to see you walk out on your relationship. They don't want you to have any love. They want you to be empty. Yes, they do. Yeah. That's what they want. Talk to me about this energy, please. Um, why is conflicted in the reverse? in the reverse. Thank you, spirits. Yeah. Yeah. You're done letting these people in for God, Leo. You're the first card to show up. <sighs> Strength card in the reverse. Look at this. They don't want you. See, they instilled this. This is something I feel that's been instilled inside of you since the beginning. Your sinister family. This is a dark darkness. Okay? And this is a, something generational. This is not something that just started with your immediate lineage of family. This is something that's, that's, that's been going on here for centuries. Okay? And they want to see that you're tired of, of this conflict, right? These people are causing an internal conflict in your energy. Causing you to doubt your, a lot of self-doubt, weakness, and insecurity, lack of courage. What am I, who am I speaking to? A broken heart. Look at that. You see the infinity sign inside the heart? They want to, they seek to control your heart space. That's what it is. The demons that you're fighting is about the heart. The closure of your heart. The breaking of your heart. And for a lot of you, I know you can, uh, you're going to identify with when I say this. That's why you're sitting in this heart fog energy. But um, for a lot of you, most of you have had trust issues that have been long running in your life. And that's because you didn't realize that there was a demon coming up against the opening of your heart chakra. Who am I speaking to? A demon affiliated with the heart chakra. Okay, you can believe me or you don't have to, Leo, but this is very serious right now. Okay, did you hear what I'm saying? Because a lot of you are in the fight of your life. What I'm saying, breaking free of the chains of the devil. Who am I talking to? The devil has a chain to your heart. And it has been closed, cut off to the promises of the divine for years. Okay? Nothing but self-doubt. Nothing but self-loathing. Nothing but feeling weak. Nothing but insecurity. Nothing but a lack of courage. This is what is becoming a faded picture of the past, Leo. Talk to me about heart fall, Miss Signals. Thank you, spirits. Yeah, you're leaving. See? Positive changes here. Pop recup. You know what's happening, Leo? Your heart is recovering. How beautiful is this? Your heart is recovering. See, you paid your karmic debts. Your, your time for paying karmic debt is over, thus said the divine, at this very divine time. You will experience relief. You will re re experience uh, 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 multiple resources, possible multiple streams of income coming in, wealth you haven't saw before. Who am I talking to? Because you've had a revelation. And all while these people were trying to break you down, God was bringing you up behind the scenes. Who am I talking to? And whatever it is that you went through, you went through it for this very moment. Wow. What did I say? Wheel of Fortune. Things turning in your favor. Changes. Major changes turning in your favor. You've got a new perspective. <laughs> you know what's ha where your happiness lies, Leo. Who am I talking to? See, they thought you didn't. 
But you outsmarted the devil this time, Leo. This is very powerful. And you ought to give yourself a pat on the back. Will, what did I say, Leo? My God. The will of fortune. Look at this brighter days ahead. That's because you've been... You know what? A lot of you could have been in the dark night of the soul right now. Um, because you couldn't take not being healed anymore. You couldn't take it. Oh, you know what it was, Leo? And like I said, for some of you, you definitely um, could be dealing with the tourists. You have the um, Queen of Pentacles here. Um... You know what you 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 know what took you here, Leo, is it hurt too much, except in the fact that you didn't open your heart to your soulmate, your twin flame. That's where the real heartbreak came in, and it catapulted you into the hermit mode, possibly somewhere you've never been or territory you haven't chartered. It caused you to really contemplate and look for the truth. You know, and you started accessing your inner guidance, you know, um, so that you can bring, open yourself up here. Yeah, broken home. Ten of cups in the reverse. You started to feel like, oh my God, I'm doing, you know, I may lose this opportunity if I don't get control over this, my, this connection. You know, if I don't get control, love is in reverse. If I don't get if I don't get control um, of this situation, I may lose everything. My marriage. Look at that heartbreak. That's what happened, and that's what catapulted you. God, how beautiful is this? The love that you actually, truly do have for your your twin flame, your past life connection. It's your look at the power of love. The love that you have for them is what gave you the strength to make these changes. Who am I speaking to? Why is open heart here? And because you passed this test, Leo, this was a spiritual test. This was a test. You passed it this time. And your heart is opening as a result. Opening up in this commitment. Underneath our open heart is commitment. Open heart. In this marriage. 